dividing by 1000 there are three zeros the decimal place stays fixed it's after that zero this is the number draw a line to help you read so you can see these are three digits so it's thousands how many thousands are there there's 70,000 70, thousands drawing a line every three digits helps read helps you to read numbers 70,000 dividing by a thousand three zeros so all of these numbers are going to move right three places and three places because there are three zeros so let's do that these three are going to end up on the right side of the decimal place we could that's not incorrect but it's unnecessary because it doesn't change the number if we rub them out again throughout we're divided by a thousand so it's always going to be three zeros so three places right uh, sometimes it's easy to make a mistake when you divide and do times instead but when you do if I times this by a thousand by mistake that become moving to the left three places seven million and you'll see the numbers got bigger and you just say to yourself remember dividing is one way of interpreting that is sharing between a thousand people if you have seven thousand euros pounds dollars you share between a thousand people there's no way you had more money when you shared than when you did without sharing at the beginning so it can't have got bigger when you divide by ten hundred thousand it can't get bigger so correct yourself like that do a quick check so three places right means these three zeros will end up on the other side of the decimal place and again we don't need those to read that number it's seven uh, it's not incorrect to leave them but it's unnecessary three zeros three places there's three digits they'll all have moved to the right of the decimal place so that'd be 0 0.700 and again I could leave it that it's not wrong but it's a bit tidier and quicker to read perhaps uh, without them and it doesn't change the number three zeros so again the 70 is going to move to the right of the decimal but it's always going to move one place more to make the three places these are the two places right and then there's a third place which we fill in with a zero 0 0.07 three places there's only one digit here so we know there's going to be two gaps between that seven and the decimal place which we fill in with zeros 0 0.007 nothing wrong with leaving the zero here but again it's not necessary so why not rub it out uh, and remember once more when we divide or times by ten hundred thousand the digits don't change probably with every other multiplication the digits will change uh, if I do one of these 23 times uh, 50 times 5 even well that becomes 115 none of these digits are the same as the original uh, any other calculations except for timesing and dividing by 1 10 100 thousand and other powers of 10 the digits change in the answer the digits have changed um, but with these they haven't they're, they're the same so we can see there's seven zero and seven zero in the answer and there's a, another zero zero after the decimal if we wanted to keep the other digits too we could it's just we said there wasn't necessary there's seven and there's a seven 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 the digit has not changed that really helps guide you just to check as well at the end three zeros so these three will end up on the right of the decimal place and then we don't need them we could leave them there if you prefer to because that makes you reassures you that you you've done it correctly but by all means do it's not wrong three three digits there the three zero zero therefore they're going to move three places right and end up on the right of the decimal place the decimal place originally was here it was here on whole numbers it's after the last whole number so the decimal place originally is there so all of these three are going to end up on the right of that decimal place when we move them three places because there are three zeros in the number 1000 you don't need to keep that zero you can nothing wrong with it but you don't need to again they're going to move two places to the right of the decimal and they've got a third place to move which creates a gap which we fill with a zero 0 0.023 dividing by a thousand all the digits move three places to the right three places to the right top left there so every single time we have moved to the right to the right to the right of that decimal uh, and the other key thing is that the digits haven't changed two three 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 they're always the same super pause the video when you see let's just do the first two sets and then when you think you've answered them and you want to check press play and see if you got it right good luck
Okay, welcome back. So let's do the solutions to these now. Uh, I'll do them a bit quicker than the intro. There's three digits there, three zeros, so I need to move them three places. So all of those three digits are going to end up on the right of the decimal place. Three zeros and only two digits, so that creates a gap of one between the decimal and the 40. And so that's 0 0.040. Only one digit, so that creates a gap of two behind the decimal because the decimal is originally there. It moves one place, I'd have got 0 0.4. But we need to move it three places. Two places, I'd have got 0 0.04. So three places has created two gaps that we then fill with zeros. 0 0.4, wow. So that four is going to move three places further away from the decimal place, creating three gaps we need to fill with zeros. 0 0.04, it's going to move another three places away. So there's going to be another three zeros before we get that four. 0 0.00004, that's how we say decimal numbers. You say each digit individually. Um, by all means, if you'd like to pause the video now and try this last set that are on the right there. Press play when you want to see the solutions. I'm going to do both of these at the same time. Welcome back, let's do those solutions then. So again, we know the digits won't change. It's going to be an eight and a seven, but all three are going to move behind the decimal place because originally, and I can just rub out that last one. It's not necessary, but you can leave it. It's fine. There's only two, so that creates a one gap that I need to fill with a zero. And then I've got the eight and the seven. There's only one before the, the decimal place. So when it moves three places, it's going to create two zero gap between it and the decimal place. And then they're both already behind the decimal. So when they move, they create three gaps between them and the decimal place. And so that's 0 0.00087. Uh, and again, we notice, oh look, every time, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87, 87. The digits, all the digits that were in the original question, the original number are in the solution. 22, again, we have to move this three places. The decimal is currently there, so it creates a gap of one, which we fill with a zero between the 22 and the decimal place. There are three digits here, so all three digits will fall behind the decimal place to the right of it. Uh, there's only one digit in front of the decimal place, so instead of creating two zeros, it just creates one zero because the two took up one of those three places that it moved right. And again, this time there are two digits in front of the decimal place, so it'll just create a gap of one digit between the 288 and the decimal place when they all move three to the right. They've moved one to the right, just to show you that step by step, they've moved two to the right, and then finally they've moved three to the right. Now just because there's three digits there doesn't mean they just all go behind the decimal place, because there were already two that were in front of it. 